Good morning, Blue Beamers. This is David Campbell with Topcon Solutions. And I was working on a uh, form this morning, and I thought it might be a good idea to make some content on this and kind of share um, some of the things I've been doing. So um, one big thing that I've noticed, and I'm sure anyone else who has created forms in Bluebeam notices, um, that you have to keep your form items in order. So as you're going through creating your form, if you want to be able to tab throughout those different form fields and go in order, you need to make them in order here. Now, one of the big things about the auto form creation that's kind of a pain in the butt is the fact that it just kind of jumbles everything around. Um, so that's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a been, a been a pain, right? So I've been going through manually um, adjusting this form field this morning um, so I can tab around in it and do kind of what I need to do. And I wanted to kind of do a couple tips and tricks if I could. One is going to be, you guys will notice that I'm going to name my columns here, right? I'm going to name my fields. Well, one that helps it look a little more professional, right? So when somebody gets into the forms, they see exactly what it is, what fields are there. Um, if they go into Adobe, there's there'll be like a little tool tip, and you can set a tool tip here. So if I hover over, let's say uh, I pick Ship Two up here, and if I hit if I hit Escape, and as I hover over this, you're going to notice there's my little tool tip there with Shipping Two. Okay, so just another little thing about those forms. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys um, on a big part about uh, organizing your forms, you know, that kind of stuff. But also in making these forms, I've been, you know, making this table down here and I found it's kind of tedious to go through, you know, dragging every cell, resizing it, trying to make my new text boxes, things like that, making sure the, the name corresponds. So another kind of interesting tip here is if I name any of these cells the same, they will always fill the same. So in saying that, I wanted to show you guys this here. I'll grab this one. I'm going to hold down control um, after I've selected this text box here. And I'm going to hold down shift. And I should. There we go. Now holding down control and shift, um, control is going to give you a new copy of it. Shift is going to keep it nice and um, straight for you, kind of lined up, right? So if I make this uh, this box here, and I name it the same as this one above it, notice it'll take it. It'll take it just fine. Now, if I enter in a number, notice it updates that other cell as well. So it's going to update that other which is kind of a pain in the butt if you're trying to fill out these form fields, if you're trying to have separate values in these form fields, um, you're going to notice that uh, it'll reflect the same. So you got to you gotta make sure that you are renumbering those. Okay. And in terms of numbering them, I like doing it based off of the column that it's in. So I just call these one, two, three, four, and five. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little kind of tip here. If I grab all of these, so all of these cells here, I hold down control, hold down shift. I'm going to get in tighter so I can kind of see how this lines up in my cell. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to drag those straight down. And voila. Now I just go through. I got to find my new cells. Six. Okay, and it's it's that simple. So we're just going through renaming our different cells here. All right, so I'm going to do that one more time for, oh, and I need to do six there. I'm going to do that one more time for anybody who didn't catch it. Just, again, I'm going to hold down Control, grab all of these at the same time, or you can do your selection window either way. And then I'm going to hold down Control and then Shift. center those in there just like that. There we go. Now 
Now, the reason I've had you guys holding on so long here is uh, I really wanted to also talk about the subtotal and um, the grand total there. So I wanted to show you guys kind of how to set that up so that it will add or you know multiply kind of correctly, right? So I'm going to grab this last total price here. I'm going to hold down that control and the shift, bring that down, give myself my subtotal. There we go. I'm going to do it again just to grab my tax rate. Stretch that up a little bit. Oh, forgot to hold down control, huh? <laughs> There we go. All right, and then finally, we're going to bring down this grand total here. So, with my subtotal, we know this subtotal is going to be the, the, the sum of all of these total prices, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the properties tab here and I'm going to scroll down. Okay, I'm going to find my format. This is where you can format it if you want for number, percentage, date, time, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to leave the format the same. Your actions, if you want to have an action for this form field, I'm going to make this a calculated form field. So I'm going to make this a calculation field and it's going to give me the sum of the following fields. So what I'm going to do is make sure that it finds all of my total prices. Total price one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's seven. Okay, so right now it's set for zero. This cell, this is where I'm going to add that custom formatting. So I'm going to, right, make sure that's tax rate. We are good there. Formatting is going to be percentage okay and then our for our grand total you're gonna have down here calculate and this is going to be the product of our subtotal and our tax rate all right so after that I'll just come over you know, finish up my notes, the name, the signature, put a signature block in, everything like that. My form field is good to go. Okay. So anybody else that uh, has any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm going to be making some of these content videos um, throughout the day, throughout the week, you know, <laughs> as we're kind of stuck in home, I help to kind of make and share anything that I can. All right. Thanks guys. Have a good day.